Let's take a quick look at uh, Gary Woodland's swing here, and we're just going to talk about a couple things that he does really, really well that I think will help a lot of people uh, when it comes to making better, more consistent swings. I'm going to put a box here of underneath his armpit, going down through the knees, just kind of into the balls of the feet there. And I'm going to draw another one, kind of like it's a wall right off his backside there. And one of the things Gary does so well as we take this swing back kind of frame by frame is you're going to see as he goes up to the top and as he comes down, his lower body stays in the box, if not slightly towards his heels or going this way um, in the downswing and follow through. Now, a lot of players have what we call early extension where they go up onto their toes and you'll see their hips uh, and their legs thrust towards the ball. But we can see from here at the top, Gary gives a little squat where his butt goes back and then he rotates and we can see how well he's in the box there and turning through. And we're going to do the same thing on this one, going down his lower body here. And again, one of the most impressive things you'll see with Gary is he's really turned well into his right side, but you don't see any slide. His right hip and his right leg don't go past that line. He just turns into it. And then because he has an iron here, you're going to see a very strong shift to that left side, that kind of squat you saw from the down the line view where he's squatting and getting to his front side. He's moving forward through it very aggressively. This is going to make sure that he takes that divot out in front of the ball and not behind it. And we can see when he follows through how he's way out in front of that box for where he started. So better players will all turn and pivot staying in the box in the backswing. And then make a quick move forward to get the bottom of the swing forward. And from the fate or down the line angle, what you'll see is he keeps his hips in the box, if not almost rotating them to the left. You can see on that lead foot how he's on his heel. On that front foot here, he's rotated through the heel. He hasn't gotten to his toes and jumped. So focus on staying the box for better posture, and you'll make better contact.